everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my one and only technique that I use to prevent all the creasing while I pile up all the makeup on my face um, I feel like this is the most important thing in makeup besides blending because it happens to a lot of us we all have pores we all have creases on our face and eventually makeup does crease because it's meant to happen it is powders and creams it's hard to keep a very nice smooth black finish for over eight hours or even more but you could get it done so I want to share with you guys my technique how I do it normally is to not crease especially down under in our eyes or when you smile and you have like the smile line or any lines that you have in your face it's just gonna help you to prevent the creasing and the blotching and all of that <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. If you guys want to see my technique and see how I do it, then just keep watching. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys using the exact same product so you guys can see it is not about the product. Well, sometimes it is about the product, but I'm going to be showing you guys the real technique. So I just wanted you guys to see that you guys could definitely make any product work. It's just the way you apply it and how you apply it. And I wanted to show you guys the half side of my face, applying it the right way and the other side not the right way which is going to actually crease up and all that and i'm going to show you guys how to do it so, okay, so the right side i'm going to show you guys the don'ts and the left side i'm going to show you guys the do's so first things first it's very important to start with a fresh clean face i already have my brows and my lashes on i applied some ardell wispy lashes so you want to start off with fresh clean skin and that's just going to help your skin and your pores to be nice and smooth and clean and make your primer and everything else apply evenly and easier. So the first thing I like to do just to kind of keep my face as hydrated as possible. I've been using my Soe, I believe that's how you say it. It's Soe New York Revelizing Rose Mint. And this is some rose water. It's supposed to tone your skin. It kind of keeps its magic under your primer and your moisturizer. So I always like to apply it. It works really good. It doesn't damage or mess up my makeup in any way. So like I said, the most important thing in preventing creasing and even blotching from your perfect flawless makeup is your primer and your moisturizer. You want to have a very good hydrating moisturizer that's just going to keep your face locked in nice flat moisture. For that, I'm going to be going in with my, of course, Mary Kay moisturizer. You guys know that I've been using this moisturizer for over a year now and I love it for my makeup. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys will know. If not, this is my favorite moisturizer that I use so much. And I'm already a year in this bottle and it hasn't even finished. And I use this every day. So for the right side, normally we're just like in a hurry, right? And just kind of moisturizing our skin. And just rushly, you know, blotching wherever it is we want to. The number one mistake that a lot of us do, even I did in the beginning, is patience. We are not patient and we just kind of rush into our makeup. For primer, I'm going to go in with my Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. I really like to use this as a primer. It's more like a pore eraser and it just visibly smooths out all your pores. You can't see any of them and it just gives you this nice flat surface to work on. Okay, so now for the right side, which is the don't side. Using the same brush and the same primer, we're just going to go in, you know, very roughly. You know, just, I feel like this is normally how I used to apply my, my primer and just not care, even apply it like here like 10 times and you don't want to do that. You want to add like a soft layer, which a lot of us don't know that and we end up blotching our face with primer. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I wanted to use this foundation because it's a little bit thick, so it kind of helps you guys see that I'm trying to prevent the creasing with full coverage foundations because it's kind of difficult to see when I use a very light foundation. So we're going to go in with my right side, which is the don't side, and I'm going to go in with... I'm just going to go in with these oval brushes and just kind of brush it into my skin. Okay, I'm using the same foundation with the same brush and I'm going to do the left side. And what you want to do and concentrate on is to basically add a very thin smooth layer on top of your primer. You want to make sure that you're not pressing on too hard because when you press too hard you're literally moving and dragging away your primer. 
so you want to be very gentle and if you do need more coverage then you just add another layer of foundation you don't need to press on too hard which is the biggest biggest mistake that most of us do Okay, so I already applied my foundation and already I feel this side way more like flatter than the side. It does have the same amount of coverage because it's the same foundation, but you can definitely feel the difference. So for concealer, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to apply this all in my highlighted areas. And I wanted to use, again, a thicker concealer so you guys could definitely see the difference. So I feel like we all know how to apply concealer, which is a do's and don'ts. But I'm just going to apply it on the don't side. <laughs> and the number one mistake, I know it seems like when you watch videos and all these other, you know, beauty stuff, it seems like they add so much concealer and that is a common mistake. You don't want to add too much. Even though it seems like you do, you really don't have to add too much. And I'm going to show you guys the big difference. So I'm just going to apply literally much as I need so you guys can already see the difference how much I have on this side and how little I have on the good side and that's literally all you need but for my nose I'm just gonna go in and do a normal highlight and contour on my nose because I can't share my nose so we're just gonna do it the right way this is my forehead I don't know how to share my forehead either, but I'm trying here. I don't really have no wrinkles on my forehead or anything like that. So it's kind of hard for me to show you guys because I don't crease on my forehead. I normally crease under my eyes and sometimes like right here or even in my nose sometimes. But I'm going to do a do's on the nose so you guys can see. So for this, I like to use this brush right here. This is just my Real Technique brush and it's super, super, super soft. So it just helps me blend this in really good. And I'm basically, all I'm doing is tapping and pressing in the product into my eye first. So it kind of sets in there. And then I'm just slowly kind of blending it in circles. And you want to do this very, very light-handed. That's it. We're going to go in with the nose. Okay, so for the other side, again, we're just going to just blend it in, I guess. <laughs> as rough as I can. So you guys can already see the difference. This is exactly where I need it to be. This is already too low. Like, you don't even need that much. Which is a common mistake, so I wanted to show you guys the difference. There's nothing bad, but just to learn. I feel like my lip looks all smashed because there's so much concealer. Okay. So for contour, I normally really never cream contour I always use powders it does prevent the creasing I don't really have like any creases on my cheeks so I don't get no creases on my cheeks but if you do and you do use cream contour you want to set it with something very thin not too thick because it'll make like a thick contour and then a thick powder and it's definitely gonna crease you up or even just wear powder the powder is not gonna crease up it's just gonna stay flat and matte which I love and that's why I always use powder but I'm gonna go in with a powder and show you guys how I do it. I really feel like it's making my face look like deformed or something. <laughs> I'm telling you, highlight and contour definitely makes a difference in your face and you want to do it the right way. So, yeah, it's very important. <laughs> so, to contour, I'm gonna go in with this NARS powder in Laguna and I'm using Morphe M405 brush and then just start to carve on my cheekbones. Now for don'ts, normally, you know, we just pack our brush up, which is one common mistake. You don't want to add too much product at once. And what I used to do is I used to just kind of swipe this on here, all my cheekbone, up and down, up and down. I know I have a small forehead, but that's a don't. So we're just going to apply some up here. For blush, I'm going to go in with this Tarte blush in the shade Party, and I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones. I'm going to do my dew side first. 
Normally you want to apply it on your cheekbone area and then kind of glide it upwards a little bit, not too much because you're supposed to apply it on your apples of your cheeks. I literally used to do this, just kind of pack on a lot of blush and just slide this on like, that's a big no. <laughs> Okay, so finally the most important thing that I guarantee you is going to help you to prevent creasing is to bake. For that, I'm going to go in with my Bene Banana Powder and I lost the lid, so there it is. And you guys can already tell I have a bunch here. I'm always, always using this, so I'm just going to go in and apply some more on here. I'm going to go in with a sponge and kind of press it in to lock it into the sponge and then press it into my skin so I'm gonna go in with the don't side first and I'm just gonna bake my under eyes just like that and I always like to bake down here to kind of carve out my contour just like that so now for the do side the biggest thing is you want to make sure that your powder is literally flat down on wherever it is you put it and once you press it, you don't want to have like blotches. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you don't want to have blotches of powder. You want it to be smooth on the sponge as well because that's how it's going to apply on your skin. So you just press it or hit it against wherever you want and the extra access powder should fall. And then you're going to have the nice flat powder on your sponge. Next, you want to go in with a brush or a clean brush or whatever brush you applied your concealer with. If you have any creasing, you want to go in under wherever it is it's creasing and just blend it out and make sure those creases are 100% gone. And then you don't want to look down or do anything that's going to make your skin crease again. And then you want to bake it. You guys can see it's like a nice smooth line and this one had like a lot of little taper lines on there which is not what you want. <laughs> so you want to add a smooth line and because it's so smooth I always like to go in and add two layers. And another thing with baking you can also prevent blotching and oiliness so I always like to apply some right here a little bit because that's where I seem to get a little bit oily and just kind of press it in there and also my forehead because I did highlight my forehead so I like to apply a little bit only if you apply it to prevent your skin from getting oily you want to brush that part out First, you don't want to let that sit there um, longer than what you are baking because then you're gonna have, you're gonna see that reflection somewhere. And then I'm just gonna brush off my forehead and I'm gonna brush off the right side of my face because it's been sitting there longer. So, so now I'm just gonna brush.